What's going on, you guys? How y'all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you again. Today we're gonna be playing some uh, a new game called Infection Free Game uh, Infection Free Zone, which is basically, from what I've been told, it, I mean we played this two years ago when it was kind of like in like uh, they were doing test uh, test branch or whatever, and uh, the whole thing about this game, right, is that it, you can actually choose your hometown. You can uh, it, it it generates a map for you based on your hometown, uh, like streets and all that stuff as well as like things that are in there i guess you use google maps or whatever and you can basically do like a like your own personal zombie apocalypse in your hometown it's pretty cool pretty cool really cool idea um this is a uh, kind of a cross between they are billions and project zomboid so i've been told i don't really see the project zomboid in it but i can see where somebody would say that if they haven't played project zomboid a lot like i have but uh it, it's it's more of an rts which is uh should be fun. I kind of suck at these kind of games, but we'll we'll see how this goes. And it just came out. It's twenty four dollars, I think, or twenty two dollars, something like that. Tana loves milk and his fans. What what's going on? Yeah, that looks awesome. We got underground now. Uh, right right on cue. Pred st started streaming it. When did when did he start? Oh, the anomaly trailer. Yeah, that's uh that's we'll be playing that tomorrow. I, I thought about doing it today, but I was like, yeah, you know what? I, I don't have a lot of time, and I really want to spend a little bit of time on on that RimWorld uh, DLC. I, I don't have that much time today. I have probably about an hour and a half, two hours before we uh, have to go to work, so. But anyway, this is this is what the game is called. It's an infection-free zone. Should be good. Let me uh, let me set up stuff real quick and then we'll uh, jump right in and see what it's all about. Let's see, browse overlays, Dream setup, docs, there we go. Let me turn on my activity feed so I can see you lovely people. Here we go. What's up, Vaco? Vaco, who's your daddy? It's good to see you. Gremlin, Max, Honey Banani, Radio, Michelle, Gustavo, Ian, Endireman, Kitty Cat, Cane Pork, Mary, Miss Walker. It's good to see all you guys. All right, so should we uh, go ahead and propose? Let's see what they were going to propose based on our location. Oh, yeah, look, see, so they got Memphis. Just like that, Memphis. And we can kind of like choose our areas. It's gonna generate stuff. That right there is um, Overton Park, which is, uh, I used to live in this area. I think I'm gonna go right here though. I think on Poplar Avenue. I wonder if I can go e any further. There's West Memphis over here. wonder if I can go let me let's go back again all right international airport south mains the mains district Victorian village This right here, here, Memphis International Airport, Winchester, that's actually like the hood. That is right in the middle of the hood. This right here might be good. We'll, we'll just do Memphis, Tennessee. That's where they want us to go anyway. So we'll do that and we'll put it right. Hmm. Maybe right here. That's downtown. We'll go right here. This is real close to the uh, to, to the hospital district and stuff. I wonder if I can go over. Can I go over a little bit further? I wonder why I can't move this. Wonder where uh, the keys are. Sounds like a terrible idea uh, uh, area, right? But it's already got got zombies infesting it. Terra Haute, Indiana, once an era for anomaly. If you're wondering, uh, drunk looks. This is where he doxes himself. No, I'm not. I'm I'm like, I'm in Memphis, but I'm not really in Memphis. You know, we could go right there. Actually, we can come right down here. It actually might be better. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Select Memphis area. We'll keep the tutorial events o open. The infections, the zone name, we'll just call it this, uh, I guess, it's an early access, so we're not gonna be able to change much. People, we're gonna go with medium difficulty, I guess. Our resources is one, hordes number is one. Let's see what happens. The download and loading time might take up to 10 minutes due to extremely large maps that we deal with. Uh, next reload should be way faster. Thanks for your patience. Yeah, so they're, they're actually, it's downloading like the area, the real area right there. And I chose Union Avenue. I could have gone Poplar, but but I think Union Avenue is going to be better. It's, a, it's right next to a, uh, it's very close to a hospital area. And um, there's a lot of like uh, like food and stuff like that. It's a thoroughfare in Memphis, Union Avenue is. The world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. Vampires. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. We'll be hiding. Improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. I haven't played this in two years. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. So I don't know what to expect. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. To all survivors, the infection is in decline. Seek others and rebuild. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Indeed. The last time I played this, it was a, um, you, you only had your, you had your choice of, uh, you, you only had your choice of like three or four cities. They'd done this, but we, we're going to choose a headquarters now. And I have watched a little bit of stuff. Let's see where we at. We're at, uh, that's Peabody Avenue right there. So you, Linden Avenue, um, what is this? That, that is, I don't know what that is. That looks like, oh yeah, that's the, uh, Bellevue. Go this way. Now, Watkins. I know all this area. This is this is Union right here, and Union goes all the way up until you hit the uh, interstate. Right down here is going to be like right in this area is probably going to be um, like hospital. And whatnot, and then you also have like a uh, like a blue collar area, like with uh, with with like industrial area. But I watched a little bit about this, and one of the things they suggested was not to find something too big um, because of uh, the way that they attack. I'm probably going to stay on Union though. This storage capacity is 309. South Watkins Range. This area right here is like in real life. That's a, that's it's it's a pretty rough and tumble kind of area. South Avalon Street. Now I lived, uh, let's see, where did I, I lived a little bit further up here. Madison Avenue, some place like right around, let's see. See if I can find a, the place I lived when I was like in, in uh, college age. There's Stonewall. North Willett.
Poplar should be right up here, right? Yeah, there's Poplar Avenue. Yeah, see, I lived in this. This is one of the places I lived at. That was like actually like when I was uh was uh, growing up right here. Hmm. So let's find let's find ourselves a little a little spot. We could uh too close to the edge of the map. A little bit disorienting because I don't remember some of these places. But look, look like they have like the actual names of stuff too. And these are all like big homes. Uh, I don't know why they look like they're, uh, they're not. Maybe we'll go right, maybe like right here. What street is this, Union Avenue? Be close to the edge. Hmm. Maybe right here. They're gonna be too big. A storage capacity, living quarters is 27. That's 27, that's 60. All right, let's do it. Right here. Operator, this Ian, is first squad. shut up. We made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. We'll have to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources. All right, let's look for food. Okay, find something to eat as fast as possible. So we can scavenge, we can turn on scavenger view, which is gonna show us like the different spots. What is this right here? Findable source, canned food there and canned food here. We don't know what's in here. Canned food there, and lots of canned food. So we're like right in the middle of this. Uh, select a squad. Okay, so that's, uh, be right here right reporting okay so we can we can create a new new squad let's come we'll just cruise board. out this way maybe I'll do another squad too And we'll start scavenging this area. We should be able to find it. Is there a way to speed this up? There we go. Return to collected cans to the HQ. There's nothing left. We're on the move. Cool. And I guess when you when they when they run out of I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters so we won't spend a single more night underground. Okay, so we need shelters. I think that this might be a pretty decent building. Well, all right. Yes. Adapt buildings to shelters. Sounds like a good idea. We have 40 people. Operator. Sir, the crates are in the HQ. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. All right. Okay. I'll point you where to go. Roger. We'll go over here. Is this it? No, 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 no. It, it, it gets better. But we do got to scavenge first. That's fine. We'll continue. Carry on. We need those resources. 
Sir, it is too dangerous for unarmed civilians to work after nightfall. Everyone will return home. Well, all right. Okay, let's be safe. Chief, there are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. Let's investigate. I don't know if we really need to, to go. Can I move these guys? Yeah, let's move it. Let's move him back in here. Actually, let's go ahead and just do it right here. We'll, we'll finish out the scavenging process here and in here. See what else we can find. So we get 18 cans of food or 18 food. I have six ammo, six crates of ammo. That's 600 ammo. We don't have any weapons. We don't have any fuel. Our construction's looking all right. We do have to worry about now zombies because apparently they come they come out at night. Hostiles inbound. There they are right there. Sir, we just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence. Just get ready. Get ready to fight. Just in case. Shit, there's a lot of them. Infected incoming. Hostiles inbound. We just need to hold off. We'll just hang out in here. Infected incoming. Here they come. And we know that they're going in they're in that building, so we can clear those guys out as well. This night was easy, but there are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Alright, so Eric Hatfield, how, hey, how old, how's the game? How realistic is the hometown aspect? Can I see that my house from here? I, I don't think you, I don't know if you can see the house from here, but I know that um, we we know I know that there's gonna be like a um, I, I I recognize the streets and I know about where I am. We're gonna go ahead and build a watchtower. Let's build a wooden tower. How do I build it? Press LMB on the building icon. Where is the building icon? Right here. We'll do one right there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, go in here. I wonder if there's a way to control control them all. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna go in here. They're they're hiding out in here. We'll eventually investigate this uh, the smoke. But basically, the way that this works is that in the nighttime they go and hide. We're gonna have a battle on our hands here. Hopefully, no one will die. Go ahead and clear these guys out as well. Ready for action. Ready for action. Receiving. Reporting. Take him down. Warning sign. 
We're running out of resources. Of course we're running out of resources. Alright, we need to go and check that smoky house. Where is that? Right here. We're on the move. Yeah, it has like a very uh, I am legend kind of feel to it. Sir, we just found a car that looks drivable. There we go, we found a car. Okay, try it. Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? We'll go ahead and accept it. Bring them in. Search done. Ready for action. Ready for action. We're on the move. All right, where's the car? Where are we going? Ah, look at there. Oh, I miss driving so much. This will help speed up our scavenging. And we can run over the infected if we get too close. Cool. Receiving. We're on the move. We, we already have a car. That's good. We're on the move. How do we get out? Well, we're going to see. Going there. Okay, that's not how you get out. How do you get out? Pack, move, off road, control, select. There we go, perfect. On my way. I think we're gonna make this this building right here, it will be one of our first uh things. How many what does it have? Well we have to wait for the uh to see what the uh what the scavenging is and we'll just turn this into a uh into a place for uh for people. How do I how do I move? Get ready to defend the zone. The door won't hold much longer. Fuck it. On my way. Let's get back inside. I'm not exactly sure how to, how to how this works. Just to zoom in. You can see them right now. This is as far as I can go. Infected incoming. Another big group right there. Infected incoming. Good deal. Oh boy. We also need to do re resource uh, sources as well. You need to get to see a zombie. You, it's it's kind of you kind of don't like as far as like like an actual like z zombie in the same uh, same way. Did they did they find everything? Good deal. We'll go back in in One here, and we can actually adapt the building or deconstruct the building. We're gonna go ahead and adapt it, and uh, we're gonna wait for the day to for the daylight to come. It's a nice big group right there. Let 
You move on the card, you click on the card. If the squad is entered, then move. And then it would be the squad. I got it. Jesus. Jeez Louise. One o'clock in the morning. We're going to wait till, uh, till, until it gets later. And, and from what I understand, how this works is, is that the more noise you make, the more people you have, the more noise you make, the more they kind of converge into the area. That's been my, uh, my understanding of it so far. There's no game that contain anything zomboid like. Okay, let's let's go ahead and get this right here. We'll uh, we'll we're gonna adapt this building into a shelter. Right here. And let's go ahead and start um, moving around and, and seeing what we can uh, do. So there's there's can still there. We can adapt that into a shelter as well. We can adapt that to a shelter. Let's go ahead and, and uh, move these guys. There we go. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources to construct or to work at some of the buildings. Ah, I didn't know that. How do I do that? We're going to see. Brady new squad. Um, how do I get my workers to do stuff? How many people do we have? I'm glad you're trying this junk. I, I, drunk, I thought about getting this. Doesn't seem as fun as I'd have hoped. Well, I mean... Oh, there's there's some stuff right there, too. Maybe we should carry another, another squad. I'm kind of curious. We have 31 of 54. There we go. Okay, so we have food preparation, scavengers, unemployed, scientists, food prep, factory workers, and nurses. Oh, uh, so the scavengers have to be squad members. Interesting. Reporting. Operator, we're on the move. Anyone loves RTS and sees to play old school total done. annihilator. And I don't understand this. I thought adapt buildings for we have twenty seven of forty uh, five done. I thought we did this one. Should we do this one as well? Starbucks Union Avenue. I know where this is. I could uh, maybe knock it down for resources. We're just going to knock that down so we can have like more of a of a way to be able to see. Reporting. And I think what we'll also do is maybe put in a couple more watchtowers. Do we have enough stuff? 45 construction, 12 uh, uh, raw metal, zero bricks. Okay. That's going to give us uh, 72 bricks, I guess. That's good. Do another metal tower, maybe put it right here. Do we go right here? I mean, I think overlap would be a good thing, right? Yeah, that's fine. Timber down. That's going to give us 289 bricks, 132 uh, raw metal, and 106 wood. If this is realistic, Linus. Line of sight is important. This is true. I 
It looks like we got a fuel canister and a crate of canned food as well. We can move further out as well. But I just think that it's going to be better for us to kind of like... Uh, Once this is done, we'll we'll uh, adapt this building into a uh, We're on the move. into another shelter. We're missing resources, Chief. This building is way too big for us to adapt as a whole. It'll cost us too many resources, but we can still adapt it partially and only convert as much space as we need. Good idea. Okay. You're right. Let's do this. This is a pure boomers game. Oh, come on, man. Really? Yeah, line of sight is important. So uh, we're going to start breaking this stuff down. I might end up building like a... Uh, like some sort of fence to kind of guide them in. We do have uh, three things on this side right now. We have good line of sight on this side, so we'll see what happens. This is the infection free zone. Please respond. To all fall. The infection is in the Seek a host and rebuild. We're rebuilding, damn it. Can you hear me? Stop. The infection will decline. Seek this and rebuild. Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. Well, all right. Let's go there. There it is right there. So it's going to kind of lead us that way. What time is it right now? It's 4.15. Probably just going to wait here. Let the workers work and do their thing. Hopefully we can get a, enough uh, resources out of this that we're going to be able to like break this stuff down and, and then uh, kind of go from there. My God, the number of hours I spent playing Red Alert. I love those uh, damn Tesla coils. Keep the tall building. Well, the problem with the tall buildings... Like, I'm The problem with the uh, tall buildings is line of sight. The good news is the zombies can't see it either, so... See how the line of sight is? It's showing like this is kind of blocked off. Toil is over. Get some rest. But I think that the best thing is to just do guard towers that kind of like work work with each other. The moon seems so close to the earth tonight, reflecting the sunlight. The sky is perfectly clear. It's almost as bright as the day. There should be no infected on the street tonight. Oh, nice. Good for us. That's good. We can use a quiet night. Ready for action. Let's do it. Now, I guess it could be in the buildings, though, right? This might not be a uh, good, uh, a good, a good plan of mine. See what happens. I don't know how to cancel the uh, full adaptation of the building. Adapt part of the building. So let's let's see. We're trying to go here. Infected inside. Fuck! I was worried about that. Operator. Well, old Keith Mitchell here, he, he's, uh, he's going to take uh, four days to recover. Two days, two days, one day. 
We'll let him. We'll let him continue on doing this. We need more resources. I know. Okay, adapt part of the building. How do I do that? hearing a lot of noises coming from underground. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defenses and be ready to attack from within, too. <sighs> Jesus. These characters would not last long in, in Knox County, indeed. Uh, okay, let's prepare. We'll be ready. There's nothing left. We finished construction. We're going there. All I know is get to higher ground so you can see further. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. We could store all the books there too. Let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Right. So how do we build? Let's let's come over here. Shelter warehouses. Probably don't need it. We're out of pistol stuff now. Oh, come on. Memphis has like a gazillion guns. Looks like they deconstructed that. Hundred percent. Ready for action. Move them back. We're on the move. Waiting orders. Hundred percent scavenged. Ready okay. We're on the move. Ready for action. Is that a hundred percent scavenged? It is. Waiting orders. Reporting. On my way. Just wasting precious time here. It looks like the game and concept and characters are placeholders. Maybe, yeah, because I, I was thinking the same thing with the placeholders. I, I, I've, it's like when I was looking at it on YouTube, I was like, man, I've seen, I've seen these people before. We're almost out of weapons already. Out of everything. They're breaking into our building. What building are they breaking into? Sons of bitches. Fuck. Roger. We need more ammo. We need more resources. Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info that we could use. They speak of various kinds of infected animals that they encountered, and other groups of survivors, too. But they've lost people recently. 
It'll take some time for them to integrate. Let me find some jobs and shelter for them. Okay. Let them rest. What more squads do we have? Waiting orders. We're on the move. We're running out of stock. Probably need to go in and, and, and bring my people in. I'm going fast forward and it's it doesn't seem like that's like the smart thing to do. It's the 5th of August, so we have until 9, I think. Something like that. What are these guys doing? Start winding down for some rest. It's a neutral group. That's an actual other group. Bring them back in. Let's do it. Reporting. Operator. Roger. Receiving. Operator. Going there. There's nothing left. That's fine. Incoming. Fuck. Here we go. Operator. Going there. Run! It's only seven o'clock in August. I'm trying to get inside. Run! We are out of reach. Less populated or less... Yes, there it is. <laughs> the poor guy can't do anything. We're okay, don't you worry. We have kids. Kid zombies. Thanks, DJ Bowen. Try to find that kid. Keep it alive. Ready for action. Roger. Ready for action. Roger. 
wonder what's going to happen here. Chief, we found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain. There were some farming tools as well. Maybe we could use this to start cultivating the land again. Maybe so. Okay, bring that in. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. On my way. This will make our people much happier too. We need a lot of things. I have no I have no building things though. But at least hey, you know what? It, we keep on getting less and less uh people. People keep dying. We don't we don't okay. need shelters as much. Build a cookhouse. Search done. Clear. We're going to need some metal too. Car wreckages can be a good source. Or we can deconstruct some buildings. How do we do that? do that? Let's go there. I don't know how to do uh, some of these things. Scavengers, builders, we got six builders, no farmers, six guards. Two unemployed. We should be able to do this, right? I mean, how do you... I mean, it's saying that we can that we can knock these out, but I just don't see how you how you can do it. Ah, give orders to citizens. Ah, there we go. Okay. Wasn't real clear about this. We can, we can gather metal all the way across. Roger. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. We'll accept Send it. them in. Roger. Where can we gather bricks? Maybe right here? No? Well, we can break down the metal. Yeah, it, it only took me an hour. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm playing this blind, you know? Even though it does, it it's, it's given me like a... Uh, it's kind of telling me like what to do, but it's not really giving, it's not really holding my hand. We're out of pistol stuff too. So we can gather, our workers can gather metal, gather bricks and gather wood, but they can't really do much of anything else. Our scavengers can get, can gather uh, tools and seeds and um, you know, go into buildings and stuff. We're about to need more food, but that's fine too. And it's about to turn late again. Go ahead and go back inside. We'll, we'll scavenge just later on. I really got into this game last night watching some of the VODs. I obviously didn't watch enough VODs. Ah, right here, it, it shows you night and day, like, uh... We can gather more stuff. We should probably check this building out too, right? Ski Rock, what's happening? Yeah, I've, I've, I've dismantled this one right here. This building is too big. But I can add more workers. Ah, we can add more workers. I got seven workers. Things that I, I, I figured out after the fact. What is this right here? Oh, weather forecast. 88 degrees today, 60 uh, Fahrenheit at night.
Mood is dissatisfied. Do not have their own shelter. Well, I mean, obviously, research panel. What is this right here? Oh, we can actually build stuff. We can do build a med bay. Communications, there's chemistry. Let's go ahead and get pistol production going. We got a tool factory. We probably need to get tools eventually. And uh, do we need a weapons factory? So we're going to have to do that eventually as well. Okay. Oh, I bet you it's because of the full moon, right? Running out of resources. Waiting orders. Roger. F3 is, is, okay. So I guess that's the key is, is that you want it to be, if it's a full moon, full moon with uh, clear skies causes the infected to stay indoors during the night. Okay. And it gives me the, the time when, when the sun rises and the sun sets. See all this stuff I, I wasn't real sure about. $24. There we go. Now, now we have a, uh, I mean, and, and it's not, it's not fun. It's not fair to judge my, how I learn versus everybody else, how everybody else is doing it. The winter is coming. The days will be shorter. The farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. This might be the hardest days of the year. Ready for action. Let's how do you prepare for, for, now, how do you, uh, basic tools, six, did, will they gather this stuff and kind of, uh, Bring it back. Maybe, maybe not. Let's do it. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Ready for action. Search done. God, man, that's it's gonna take sixty one. Will this be better? Maybe so. Maybe so. I think we're safer going inside. There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh God. Chief, did you hear this? There must be hundreds of them. No, I didn't. That's nothing. Get ready. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. <laughs> How can you do that? How can you pick them up? there. 
Of course, we leave right when, uh... Go back in there. It's about to give in. I've obviously played this game wrong. The zone hasn't fallen. We'll try this one more time. I want to try this one more time. I kind of have a better understanding of how, how it goes. Yeah, let's let's try this. Memphis. Go right there. This used to this used to be a densely populated area. The difficulty might be very high. Nope, let's not try that. Let's try it there. What about right here? Wow, isn't that crazy? All over Poplar and North Parkway and stuff is pretty is pretty dense. We'll try this over again. I didn't I didn't really uh, understand like now now I've got better idea of what the controls are like. Death number one. We'll only do two deaths. Retrieve resources from scavenging buildings though. You have to have scavengers search the building. They'll pick up some items and and you have to run those back to the edge. HQ or use a car. Okay. It's kind of weird. It's like a, I, I don't really, I don't really understand like the world as we know. It. Yeah. Can we just skip that? All right. Three hundred nine, twenty-seven living quarters there. That's 27 right there. 27 right there. This looks like a, might be a pretty good, Good area. Operator, this is okay. Find something to eat as fast as possible. Well, it didn't look like there's much of anything here. There we go. We'll go both of those. First of April. I wonder how, how fast it, uh, fire at will. The, the uh, squad will automatically fire at any threat that comes into range with their weapons. Okay. Okay, we found one food. Now, will they come back and, and let's see if they retrieve? Yeah, they they will automatically retrieve stuff. Okay. Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. 
Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters, so we won't spend a single more night underground. All right, let's do that. Yes. One of the things that we can that do like immediately, idea. we're going to gather metal. All of this. Maybe over here as well. Also have them gather wood. All the way around. And we're going to adapt this building to a shelter. Sir, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Maybe we should wait till sun sunrise. We'll, we'll just get back. Back in the HQ. Workers will return home too. Unarmed civilians should not walk after dark. Go. Cool. Acknowledged. Time to sleep. Stay everyone. safe. Tomorrow's another day. So it looks like the um, the sunrise and sunset change from uh, April to May to June. And I wonder if th once this goes, if it's going to go to May immediately. I bet you that's what it's uh, what it's going to do. We will check this building out next. Expected incoming. There they are over there. Sir, just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence yet. Is the is the drone flying over Fraser, Matt Matt Hinkle? <laughs> the infected say no chance against people in Fraser. We'll go ahead and get ready. We have two more guns. Okay, so that's the, so we can actually equip these guys when we want to. I didn't know that. I thought uh, they would automatically equip. I don't know if they're going to see us. Not for long. The second of May, so it goes. It goes from uh, it goes day to day. Okay. Press V. Oh yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that so we can get get rid of this. Agree. Let's build a wooden tower. Sir, the crates are in the HQ. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. Looks like this is going to have medical first aid kits and stuff. This has uh, a fuel canister. Medical. We can go over here as well. Let's, uh, let's, we need to build, we need to adapt shelters. So hopefully they're adapting right now. Assuming that's what they're doing. Now I don't, okay, let's see if they, if they're going to, if they're going to gather and come back. There we go. Yes, they do. They can. Okay. Okay. I'll point you Operator. where to go. On my way. Sir, just found a car that looks drivable. Let's we'll worry about that in a few. Right now, let's come over here. Waiting orders. On my way. 
They do, but only you only got two squads at the start. All eight of those people have pistols, so you have extra uh, pistols lying around. Got it. Okay, try it. Jake, there are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. Okay, let's build a couple uh, towers. We can do one right here. They're searching still. Close to a car. And we only have one builder. Is there is there a reason? Zero unemployed. 38 scavengers. Okay. So we can bring the scavenging down. We'll go to 10 right there. 11 builders. Let's investigate. Search done. Chief, we found some medical supplies. They'll definitely come in handy. Now we'll be able to give first aid to the wounded. But if we want to heal people more efficiently, we'll need to build a med bay. Okay, we'll build a med, med bay eventually. Maybe. Unless I die. A med bay sounds like a good idea. Going there. We'll think of that. Today's toil is over. Waiting orders. Rest. Let's do it. Ready for action. Roger. Nightfall. They can already see some infected coming out of We already saw them. They, they, they already started to attack us. Games looks more fun now that he's actually playing it better. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Once once it's... Uh, I, it's probably one of those games where I just need to, like, take some time and, like, actually, like, figure out what I'm doing. I should have probably done that before I jumped in, but I wanted to play this. I think that it's a, a good thing. What are they doing? The building is no more... Oh, they, they went and they tore it down. Our building is under attack. Okay. <laughs> Get ready to defend the zone. They're breaking into our building. They're breaking into our building. Along that along that now we're in June. So I guess it's go it goes like uh to the third or fourth, and then it kind of it jumps up. Enough sleep, people. You've got Ready work for action. To do. On my way. Thirty-four. How much do? What do we have here? Fifty-six uh, wood. Probably need to wait on this. Assault rifle. This will come in handy against large hordes. Let's Hell yeah. Do not waste too much ammo on nothing. Use it with caution. On my way. Very nice. Look at those Lamar Avenue streetwalkers. <laughs> We can get our car and go, go, go. Another one incoming. Ready for 
Ready for action. Going there. How do I how do I get in here? Receive it. Let's do it. Vehicle taken over. Ah, I miss driving so much. This will help Roger. speed up our scavenging. And we can run over the infected if they get too close. Roger. We're on the move. Roger. Okay, Going got there. it. Going there. Well, this is kind of janky. I wonder if I can run into trees. Let's do it. Going there. Operator. Going there. All right, how do I get out of this again? Receiving. Attack, move, select. Well, Off road, see. select multiple. Ah, right there. On my way. Ready for action. Going there. Building work done. On my way. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources, to construct or to work at some of the buildings. Okay, let's see. Uh, what, do we, what do we have here? We're going to see. Go ahead and repair that. I have 13 unemployed. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, I guess, get these guys. We need, we need more resources, right? So we can maybe uh, cut down some more stuff. We gather bricks. What, what are what looks like a brick here? Didn't look like anything. Reporting. Let's do it. Area cleared. Search done. Reporting. Let's go back it. in. Building adapted. Wrap it up, folks. Let's call it a day. The moon seems so close to the earth tonight, reflecting the sunlight. The sky is perfectly clear. It's almost as bright as the day. There should be no way. infected on the street tonight. No infected. That works. We're, on the move. We're still good. We're still good on like uh on food. We we have uh ten uh ammos. I have one uh gun. That's good. We can use a quiet night. Waiting orders. Going there. There's nothing left. Waiting orders. On my way. Clear. More ammo. Good deal. I wonder why this hasn't been built, or has it? Maybe it has. Can we repurpose this building? Warehouse shelter. We could do a warehouse. We could do a shelter. But that's so big. How much uh, copium do you think drunk goes through each day? What are you talking about? <laughs> no amount of copium would help me play this trash. It's It's not that bad, man. It might. It, I might just not be doing it any service. Waiting I'm just order. saying. Going there. 
Reporting. This house is infected! They're coming! Stand down! Oh, Stand down! Down! Everybody get ready! I don't even know what just happened. Did everybody die? Jesus. Waiting orders. Roger. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Stop working. Start winding down for some rest. Jesus. Well, I obviously suck at this game. Need to grab those. Operator, let's we'll do, do both it. of them. I already thought of a new super soldier to make now. I mean, damn, dots inbound run. I know, right? <laughs> I what I what I don't like about this game is is that the uh, the speed that it happens is so fast. It's like it it's, doesn't even give me a chance to like really uh, do anything. transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful Clear. enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. Waiting orders. A local oh, library way. or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. Let's go there. There it is, way over there. Chief, we found some seeds in one of the bills. Search done. It looks like grain. There were some farming tools as well. Maybe we could use this to start cultivating the land again. Ready for action. Let's do it. Okay, bring that in. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay. just trying to survive right now. Cookhouse. A shop. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. We can maybe a uh, cookhouse. Roger. Looks like a nice little small uh, building. Waiting orders. Going there. On my way. Reporting. Chief, we just found a dead animal, but the thing is, it was literally shredded to pieces. It couldn't just be some ordinary infected. There are teeth marks on its skin. They look like dog teeth. Uh oh. Stay alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Receiving. We're on the move.
Another thing I don't like about this is when they stop, you, when you want them to like to collect stuff. A hellfire. I don't like the fact that that you have to like uh yeah let's let's we're, we're gonna redo this right here we're gonna build this into a cookhouse yeah that's gonna be adapted there and uh i guess i'll bring him back here to collect i guess i mean is that the way it works Reporting. we're on the move Let's do it. Yeah, see, it doesn't. It doesn't collect. Stop working. Start winding down. For the rest. Receiving. Let's do it. On my way. On my way. Going there. Roger. Ready for action. On my way. Go back in here. Oh, there's a smoky building. I was wondering what the other one was. Inspected incoming. Heads up, there are some infected dogs incoming fast. How are we running? We'll engage. Shoot them down. There's blue. Imagine it, it damned that there was a hard fight. Did you see that one with blood and guts? Our building is under attack. It'll be all right. 12 o'clock, September. September. We have 28, 35, seven squad members. 28 are unemployed. Uh, we'll... Can we not put them in building, maybe? All right. Morning, everybody. Time to earn your living. We're on the move. Going there. Come over here and check out this. Oh, they all went underground. That's the reason. Okay, got it. Bring them in. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? Bring them in. Bring them in, baby. Receiving. Ready for action. Go ahead and scavenge this building and then uh, kind of go from there. That might be a little bit too far. Operator, the moods in our zone are terrible. 
people are on the edge. And if we don't do anything, they will start leaving soon. Where are they going to go? We'll do whatever it takes to keep people here. Where are they going to go? Oh, yeah, have fun. Have fun out there, okay? Fucking morons. The place is adapted. Work done. Head back to your shelter. Roger. On my way. What did I just do? Operator. Let's do it. All right, let's just wait. See what happens. What are these guys doing? Twenty-five years ago, this might have been a cool game. You think? I, th I think it's it's okay. It's just a lot of uh, there's a lot to know here, and it doesn't look like there's anybody coming. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Operator, we're on the move. <laughs> Sir. We've encountered a group of people willing to join us. It will accept it. In. We have no food, but whatever. Good luck. Receiving. We're on the move. There's nothing left. Going there. Wake up and do your job. A little bit of food. Operator, going there. Operator, let's do it. Sir, the winter is coming. The days will be shorter. The farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. This might be the hardest days of the year. No, probably not. That's okay, though. I don't know where we gather bricks, either. Let's prepare for winter. It has a lot of stuff. No more to find. Construction complete. Building work done. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. Yeah, we don't need any more people. Send them away. Let's prepare for winter. Dismantle for buildings for bricks. Okay. Workers dying of hunger. What happened? And what is this down here? Oh, that's for the science. Search done. Reporting. Roger. Receiving. On my way. Good enough for food there. On my way. Get some rest. 
Operator. There's food there. Receiving. On my way. What's going on here? Chief, did you hear that? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling. Electrical list existence. What's happening? Chief, did you hear that? No, I'm, I'm deaf. No, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. The infected. They're screaming all around us. What? I can't see them, but la 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 la. Don't worry Nobody about that. Coming. Carry on with your duties. <laughs> let's do it. Let, let's get out of here. Another one incoming. Oh, there's a lot of them over there. What are these guys doing? Are we supposed to like defend these defend against these guys or something? Against these uh these buildings? We got a little bit of food though. We're good. Infected incoming. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh no, you don't. Oh shit. Jesus. Reporting. Roger. We'll collect our, our ammo now. That was a very that was a tactical error. Lost a squad. A, a, we lost a, uh, a a group. That's Boss, okay. It's been a rough night. Something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. If more and more come, our chances of survival will be really low. Our chances of survival are really low anyway. We will show them. We'll take down as many as we can before we fall. I'm going there. We'll show them. Constructed some buildings, we could acquire some wood, metal, and bricks for other constructions. Yes. We would have more space for other constructions as well. Or just a clear line of fire. Exactly. Okay, let's take it down. We're deconstructing this already. Hunger is killing us. It'll be all right. They got food already. Let's do it. Time to sleep, everyone. Tomorrow's another day. See, this is what bothers me. Okay, so they they, they went and they gathered, but then they, they it's a, rather than going and grabbing the stuff and coming back, head, headquarters they don't. Do it. it just kind of like. I don't know. What is there are some infected around here. Our building's under attack. What is this right here? Is that telling me that I don't have enough? Operator. 
Operator. On my way. Enough sleep, people. We've got work to do. We've got work to do. We'll be better in no time. There's nothing. Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info that we could use. I don't care. They speak of various kinds of infected animals that they encountered. Yeah, whatever. And other groups of survivors, too. But they've lost people recently. Whatever. It'll take some time for them to integrate. Let me find some jobs and shelter for them. We already have we already have some right over here. What is this right here? Three buildings, okay. Operator. On my way. Let them rest. Okay. Let them rest. Boss, we're running out of area for resources. We have to build a warehouse. Do we have like that much stuff, really? Okay. We'll build one. We'll probably also need to go ahead and build maybe Sir, build some we've walls. A group of people willing to join us. We have no we have no food. All right, whatever. Send them in. How much uh what do we have here? I have 90 I have 96. What is this going to take? Oh, we don't want to do that. We'll keep dying without food. Yeah, 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 whatever. A worker died of hunger? Really? I'm trying to, we're doing the best we can. Oh, look at all these abandoned cars. It looks wonderful. We'll gather metal. Beautiful. Is this any good? It's okay. Ian didn't like it. A lot of it, a lot of the problem with, uh, with this is, is that it's, is me. It's, it's not the game. I mean, I've obviously not done a really good justice in, in like, actually, I'm, I'm learning it well as I go. And so uh, there are parts of it that were just kind of, I don't know, once it once I got through the first part of it, it was fine. But a lot of it is, is, my, is my fault. There, there are parts I don't like about it, but it's in alpha. Where are they swarming? Port spotted. There are some infected around here. Hostiles inbound. Infected are pillaging a building. I want to make sure there's nothing around me. There isn't. Do we not have any gun? Why aren't they firing? Ready for action. We're under attack. They're not even firing. We're under attack. They're coming. Take them down. That is really weird. They, they weren't even firing. I mean, I have pistols and stuff. I got weapons. I got more weapons than I have people at this point.
door won't hold much longer. Get up, everyone. We're splitting. Operator, do you see these clouds? I've never seen such a big storm. The sky's so dark, the infected might be able to walk in the cloud's shadow during the day. We need to be vigilant. Well, that's not good. That's a good point. Let's stay on guard. Hostiles inbound. Operator. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hostiles inbound. You think? Another one incoming! Man down! Man down! Hunger is killing us! The zone is falling. Breaking news, old man fumbles with video game. Yeah, I know, right? That's pretty much what it is. Ten, ten days survived. That was longer than what I did. There are things that I like about this game. There are things that I think that are, uh, are just kind of hokey. For instance, um... I don't know. I, I, I think that there's like a... There's actually a lot of stuff I, I don't like about this game. Um, I'm not real big into real real time um, strategies anyway, but it, it looked it kind of felt like it's uh, like the gathering, the looting. You, you loot a building, they go back to the headquarters, drop it off, come back to the headquarters, and rather than continue looting and then going back taking it, they just sit there. So that's like a, that's like one of those things. It's just kind of it's like really I gotta micromanage that much. Um, obviously, I, I don't really understand. Like like for instance, I brought my guys out to try to like maybe try to kite and like kill off some of the zombies. They came and they didn't even fire. So I don't know if that's like a if that's like a bug or if it's like a, it's it's I'm just doing something wrong. I'm not real sure. RTS is the best. This is not a game. How is the, are the instructions like key bindings and stuff? Um, hold on, let, let's take a look at the settings here. Here's the, here's our roadmap. You have a car workshop, law system, custom events. Um, that's another thing I wouldn't really keen on it was, is it seemed like the events would happen like constantly. It was like, it was constant. So you weren't able to actually like dig into the game and like actually uh, do anything because you were always, you were always being like, they were trying to guide you into something else. And I understand that a lot of it was the tutorial, but it's it the tutorial really didn't really go do much of anything either. They didn't really explain like a lot of the like the workers, the the working part of it all. Like how to how to like I mean I had to figure all that stuff on my own, you know? And even then I'm just kind of like, uh, I kinda think I understand it. But then again, you know, I mean this isn't like one of my my types of games anyway. It needs a lot of work, man. They spent too much money on the soundtrack, but I don't see how you... Uh, I used to open to critique this game, but not the problems that RimWorld has, because I like RimWorld better. <laughs> Let's face it. I mean, I mean, there were, there's a guy that I watched play this game um, yesterday that uh, he, he was kind of like... Um, he was very much into it. He said this was Zomboid meets um, They Are Billions. And I'm not a big fan of They Are Billions, even though I, I can appreciate the uh, real-time strategy of it all. I'm just not really games that much. Um, but I was looking, willing to look at, past it because he was so excited about it, and he actually played it well and, and was able to, like, you know, he said he'd, he'd had, like, five, like, I think he said, like, 10 or 20 colonies before he figured out a lot of the stuff. Um, but I understand what you're saying about RimWorld. I, I like it better. I like it better. I understand it. You know what I mean? If I understood this game a little bit more, then maybe I I would uh, I'd be into it. I like RimWorld better too, but it has plenty of issues th uh, that fixed as well. Yeah, now I'm not going to be too critical of this game. I mean, I I, I think it, it needs a lot of work, um, and it's only an alpha. So I like the fact that it's that you can choose um, cities and you can kind of like role play inside your own city. Um, the uh, the I, I 
I think that there should be a way to like when when things go kind of sideways on you rather than it just continue to speed up that maybe it should slow down but that I mean once again this is like early on in this early in early access you know what I mean it's the, literally like the first time that they've actually let people actually play it right like if like if, if these zombies or these vampires whatever you call them start to attack a building you shouldn't it shouldn't continue on going like three times speed it should slow down at least give you a ch chance to react you know Regarding RimWorld, I, I want to get into it, but the graphics and view is just so, like, mundane, I guess. Yeah, I think, Eric, that, that's you, and I think KPK has mentioned it, too. He's been like, I really want to like it. He's like, Cromulet likes it. A lot of a lot of folks, uh, you know, a lot of folks are really into it, and I just really don't understand it. I think RimWorld can be an exception to graphic expectations. It has a lot to offer beyond aesthetics. Yeah, I think that's really, Eric, that, that's really what you have to get into when you, like, get into RimWorld. So you got to understand that all the, it's it's not really about the graphics as much as it is about, like, the underlying, all the stuff that underlies it. The the, the storytelling and the, um, the events and all the things that can just, like, mess you up. You almost have to be, um, sad, uh, you know, a sadist to, uh, to really, really get into it because, you know, no one likes losing. But there's some of us that do. You know what I mean? I mean, I would say no one. Most people don't like losing. But there, there, there are definitely there's there's a group of us that really do like losing. And the fact that you're able to do so much stuff, you know, beyond that. Now, RimWorld, like seven years ago, wasn't like that. You know, it has depth. It does. I'm a little bit disappointed in this game. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, but you know, once again, I'll probably follow it. I mean, I own the game now. Might as well, you know. But they have zone zone traits, huntable animals, stamina system, NPC zones on uh, expeditions, land elevations, more types of the infected. And they also have a no story mode, which would probably be pretty good. Additional uh, story chapters as well. I don't know. I think, it's, I, I think it might be... Uh, might be worth it to continue to watch this game and see if it does anything. There are the key bindings. I wonder if there's a way to do it. No, I thought I was I was curious if maybe that you could slow it down. I was just being too hard on it. It took years. Maybe this game will get there, but probably not. Yeah, that's that's the name of all games, isn't it, Daddy Shark? A little bit disappointed. Well, tomorrow we'll be playing um, Anomaly. We'll start a new RimWorld chapter and see where that goes. Um, and I'm, I was excited about this because zombies and all, you know. Absolutely, I was in the same situation in the beginning of that game too. Yeah, it's ten times more polished. Yeah, you can't compare this to RimWorld. It's not the same kind of game, but it's it, but it, what it has, it, what like I said, what it has going for it is there is a feeling like you can you can pretty much like for instance, I can go here and uh, let's see, let's go let's go over into Africa. Let's see what happens. This seems to have highly incompatible data regarding buildings. Unfortunately, choosing uh, this is not possible. Okay. Recommended Crofton, USA, Dijon, France, Cambridge, UK, Templin, uh, Germany, whatever, China, China, Italy, Atlanta, USA. Take a look at Atlanta.
There's Florida. New Orleans is down here. I'm going to guess Mem Tennessee should be about right here, maybe. Yeah, there it is right there. See, I could have gone into other areas. Well, that's cool. I didn't realize it was going to give me enough uh, enough of a spot. Wow. We're not going to do this again. Anyway, y'all, the game is called Infection Free Zone. You can actually try it for yourself. They have like a, a prologue that allows you to uh, choose, like, I guess it has like its own several cities. Um, it's free, so you can always you can always play around with that. I would do, I don't know what the, what the link is for that, um, if it's on the main page or if it's on a separate page, but you can always check it out and see if you like it. Any spots in the Antarctic? I don't think so. Probably not. But you could probably do... Uh, like Vancouver is probably over here, right? That's my neck of the woods down here. There's not a lot, a lot down here, even though it is thriving right now. Let's see what happens if I go right here. You live in Nuremberg. Are you infected? Maybe. At any rate, I gotta get, I gotta go to work. Uh, you guys have a great Thursday. Thank you so much for uh, for hanging with me for this hour and uh, almost two hours of frustration <laughs> and knowledge. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be playing uh, RimWorld. We'll be uh, doing the uh, anomaly, starting a new a new road with that, and uh, probably uh, Project Zomboid uh, later on. You guys have a good one, and I'll uh, see you guys on the Flizzy. Oh 